MLB The Show is your home for postseason baseball. It's game one of the National League Division Series between the Bacon and the Philadelphia Phillies. Cy Young will do the pitching in front of the hometown crowd here in game one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matt, we're going to get a chance to look at a good veteran pitcher here. This guy's been around the block a few times, but one of the things he does, he still competes at a high level, and he's never stopped trying to learn how to be a good pitcher. Digging in, Bucky Tavares. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. First pitch, 107. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. And he's behind now as he missed badly on that swing. One and two. Our temperature here this afternoon creeping up to the 60 degree mark here at first pitch. The one two is a fastball that misses. <laughs> and he lays off a pitch off the plate and high three and two. To be honest with you I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. The next 3 2. He swung on and missed strike three. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. Hit sharply on the ground. And he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. That is hurt. The cover field. Right. At the plate, crash. Oh, Davis, man. first chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. In there, and it's 0 1. Hey, this offense better be prepared to pull the trigger. This starter is known to be aggressive and come right after you. Fastball called for strike two. Down 0-2 to a guy with this much weaponry, five pitches he can go to, not looking good. Well, time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Damn, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Cletus Pepper gets the call in hostile territory here for game one of the division series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Now to the plate, Ty Cobb. They'll lead things off here in the bottom Good half job. of the first. And the pitch. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. And this one is gone. A home run. So it's a solo home run to lead off the bottom of the first. And the Phillies grab a one to nothing lead. Yeah, I can remember when leadoff hitters were these little speedy guys who would try to leg out little numbers or draw walks. Well, that time has passed, and guys like this, with pop at the plate, can sometimes go deep as well as anybody in the lineup. And that'll bring up Alex Brigman. The 
Pitch. He'll swing and miss it. A first pitch slider at strike one. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. As a pitcher, you'd love to assert your authority early on in the game, but it hasn't happened so far out here. That's a home run and a double against him now, and we're still in the first. He's going to have to make some adjustments quickly if he's going to turn this around. So now to the plate, Billy Williams on a line to shortstop. And it got there so quickly, the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settled with just the one out. The right Aaron. And that would be the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Aaron Judge. And the Phillies trying to make this first inning even better here. the stretch and this misses the outside corner so it's knotted up at one and one going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike and it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge sent toward first but this will be taken easily at first and there are two gone that is good. Not too Not no so next to the plate for the fills Trevor Story opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away Here's the first pitch to him. Now one and That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. One one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Bouncer up the middle. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. Back with more from game one after this. designated hitter Big Daddy Rico he'll lead things off here in this one run contest Rico first pitch coming here it is ground ball sent back up the middle Story picks it up throw to first will be in time and there's one gone here to start the second Plate Moose Lang as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 1. Now that's when you know it's a good pitch. He broke off a really nice breaking ball down in the zone right there, and even though this is one of the best hitters around, he waved right through it. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. Bregman fields it cleanly. Throw gets him. Two down. And with two away now, let's give you a look at the big picture here. There you see the participants in this year's playoffs. At the 
plate. Champ Camp, he'll get to take his first cuts here. Pitch on the way. And it's fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. So here's Abisayu Garcia. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. The designated hitter. He's ready. Here's the first offering. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Line drive to left. Gann is there, and he'll bring this one in. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next, the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. From the stretch. The 1 0 home. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Phillies have an early 1 0 lead here in inning number two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's 1 and 2. Well, they got to him in the first inning, which is huge, but he looks a lot more settled into this ball game right now. He's not the kind of pitcher you want to let get into a groove out there. Hit in the air out to center field. Davis is there now, and he has it to gone. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up one of the better clutch hitters on the landscape, David Bodie. First offering on its way. Two out, nobody on. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. hit the other way out toward right field. Lopez is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. Digging in, Bubba Gann. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Here's the pitch. The wind up and the 0-1. Curveball fooled him there as he's way out in front. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. So two balls and two strikes now. He started this guy backwards, a couple of off-speed pitches early, followed by back-to-back -back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. I really liked it. He gave up nibbling out of the zone trying to get him to chase. That wasn't working, so he just reached back and fired a good old country hardball fastball right by him. 
no better feeling in the world when you're a pitcher to throw a fastball right by a guy. Hack Duncan comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Pretty easy takes to start out this at bat. None of those pitches were even close to the strike zone. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. Hey. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. Sharp ground ball to third. Bregman has it. Oh, and it sailed right over his head at first. That not. This could have been much worse for the first baseman here. He goes up for the throw, leaving his feet, and exposes himself to a potentially devastating collision. He's lucky he didn't get taken out right here. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And set to go is the second baseman, J.J. Fink. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. One and no delivery. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Name of the game out on the mound is to disrupt timing of the hitters in the box. He certainly got this guy on the defensive. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. The 3-1. Swung, Swung on and missed. A full count now. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Bregman gloves it. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. We're back with more of game one after this message and a word from our local stations. of the third now and that'll bring in the second baseman Jalen Miller the second baseman Jalen first pitch coming here it is on one the 0 one on its way one Takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Hit back up the middle. Reined in. And there's one down now. The center fielder, number double zero. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Ty Cobb. He'll look to duplicate his first at-bat when he homered to open the inning. I'm trying not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. In there for strike one, 0 oh and one It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. A ball and a strike to the Phillies' leadoff man. The 1-1 home. Bases are empty, one man out. This pitch is popped up. Camp is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Third baseman number two, Alex Woodhead. 
So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. First pitch on its way. All one. Count one and oh. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Fouled off. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. And he fouls this one off. The two two one more time. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Scooped up. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Nothing across here this half of the inning. On to the fourth now in game number one. Phillies lead this one one to nothing. Stepping in, Bucky Tavares. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Here's the first pitch to him. Tavares. Breaking pitch here, chop foul at the plate, strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, Ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. When you drive the ball into the gap like that, nothing but good things can happen. Neither one of the outfielders had the wheels to catch up to it, and he glides easily into second for a double. Now we'll see if the guys behind him can get him in. Into the box now, lefty Lopez. And he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. One zero -oh. is looked at for ball number two. Not even close with the one zero. -oh. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Tavares stands at second with no outs. Hard on the ground towards short. Story plays it in, and that's the first out. The center fielder, number 24, Crash. Stepping up to the plate, Crash Davis, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. He set and the pitch. Off the plate and away there, one ball, no strikes. He's ready, here's the 1 0. Big swing and a miss at the changeup, a ball and a strike. Got to sit middle middle when a guy's trying to pitch around you. If he's going to give you first base, take it. Now the one and one pitch is taken for ball two. The two one home. Base hit, line drive into the corner. He's in at second safely as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. The pitcher was spotting his pitches effectively until now, working the edges, painting the corners, but he left this one right over the plate, and it cost him with an RBI extra base hit right there. At the plate now, Big Daddy Rico. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Oh. 
Good movement there, and he's not even close. One and one. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. And this one's in the dirt. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Fouled away. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Again, he sends it out of play. He wants that changeup back right there. Great arm action on that changeup. Hitter was just a smidge out in front. The 2 2 one more time. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Into the box now, Moose Lang. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. Boy, he comes back with a beautiful pitch there, and he's dominating this at bat. It's 0-2 now. Made him look silly with that one. A pause, and the 0-2. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Swing and a liner, but foul. If you're on the mound right there and you're getting a swing at a breaking ball off the plate, do not be shocked if he's tucked something up under this guy's chin hot right here. Here's the one-two. It's swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. But he'll get there as he flags it down just shy of the wall. And with that, the side is retired. One more look at the final out. A teeth rattler if ever there was one. Back with more from game one after this. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Billy Williams hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Here's the first pitch to him. And that misses low and away, ball one. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Ball and a strike. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Hit hard on the ground to second. He's got it. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Good range showing off into the hole right there. That's not an easy play, but these guys make it look that way sometimes. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey. Bottom part of the zone, and the slider is in there for a called strike. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. Hey. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. After two great pitches, he has a lot of options right now. He could bounce something or go elevated fastball. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. The 
There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. One run, two hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0-2, started nipping at the corners, and next thing you know, this count stands at 3-2. and two. A bouncer to the left side, reined in. And there are two away now. Up next for Philadelphia, that shortstop, Trevor Now at the plate, Trevor Story. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First delivery to him on the way. And he'll start him with a slider that's taken down and away for ball one. A ball and a strike to Trevor Story. Bases are empty here with two men out. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. A good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Hit the other way out toward right field. Lopez is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Phillies down in order. Fifth inning coming up, tied at one. Stepping into the box, Champ Hill. He flew out in his last at bat. Yeah. Yeah. Pitch of the at bat on its way. Now the 1 0. That's lifted the other way out to left. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. He almost made a heck of a play in left. Yeah, man, you can't fold the left fielder there. You'll see he makes a tremendous effort, but he just can't haul it in, and it gets past him for an extra base hit. Like the effort, though. At the plate, Bubba and as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One attempt, but this one might have too much on it. And that's out number one. The bat, the third baseman, Hack Duncan. Now batting, Hack Duncan, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. First delivery to him on the way. Good way to start it on the outside corner for strike one. Runner at second here with one man out. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Count remains at 0-2. Another one sent foul. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. A pause and the 0-2. One ball. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. One out and a runner on second base. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Come is there, two gone. Now 
the second baseman. J.J. Fink. So coming to the plate, J.J. Fink comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Weak grounder down the line at third. Comes set. The 0 1. And I'm not sure, but it looks like he may have been blindfolded for that swing. It's 0 and 2 now. Hot shot to third. Bregman fields it cleanly. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Back from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Thank you, Heidi. The designated hitter. First pitch of the at bat. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. And that's in there for his strike one and one. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Unable to find the zone with the slider. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you can rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. Ready with two balls and a strike. Hard hit ball to second. Fielded cleanly. And there's one away. Now that catcher, Nick Money. Ron Dahl. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. First pitch coming, here it is. Here's the 0 1. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. One run, two hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Two balls and two strikes to the Phillies catcher. <laughs> fouled away. Another 2-2 offering. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Uh, no doubt, man. He's one of my favorites. Mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. In now, David Bodie. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hit. And the right fielder is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. We've played five full, tied at one aside. The 
digging in once again. Bucky Tavares will try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. First pitch on its way. Now the 1 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. One one it was offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier, and making sure that it goes up before it comes down. More likely to be a hanger when that's the case. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The one two. Fouled off. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0 2 count. Looking forward to the strikeout. Here's the 1 2. Hit out towards second. He's got it. Throw will be well late as he reaches it first. I know he didn't smoke that one from the Lucky. offensive standpoint, but you know what? A knock's Lucky. a knock, especially to lead off an inning. Game tied, and it's getting late. That could prove to be pivotal. And prior to the first pitch, you look to first. And the runner back easily. Standing in now, lefty Lopez. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. To second for one. On to first, and they get them both. The kind of fielder of the point four. Ready for another shot now. Crash. Davis. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, and that, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond. But now they just have to try and get a two-out rally started. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. High in the air into shallow left center. Here comes a left fielder. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll give way to the rookie second baseman, Jalen Miller. The second baseman, Jalen set here's the nothing and nothing pitch and a slider tails outside for ball one and he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him one and one up high two and one now swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time one away oh, that'll make you smile as a pitcher you make a good pitch you, you blow the guy's bat up and then you make the play yourself in your head you're thinking nice swing me One out for the Phils in their half of the sixth. And here comes the Georgia Peach, Ty Cobb. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Lined is short but gobbled up there and there are two away. Now back, the third baseman, Alex Whitman. So striding in, Alex Bregman, one for two, including a double back in the first. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Hey, this is a huge at-bat right here. This pitcher wants to end this inning and have three, four, five do up to start the next inning. Counts even one and one to Alex Bregman. Two out, nobody on.
And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Phillies down in order. Score remains tied one to one. forward now Big Daddy Rico will start the seventh and Dan is a former pitcher yourself you must be enjoying this lots of good pitching and defense today well that's one of the keys we're seeing a lot of strikes we're seeing a lot of swings we're seeing some great plays on defense this has been a snappy one up to this point oh had him chopping at that one it's nothing in one we're moving right along into this one this guy's continuing to pitch well which is a little Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Ball one. Yep, one and one. You got two balls. What the hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. The 2 1. He's in there for strike number two. Still two and two. The pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Well, pitching domination continues. Just a total of two runs on the board, so both of these starters should feel really good about their showings. If you love good pitching, this has been the game for you. So now to the plate, Moose Lang. Lifted in the air out to center field. Tom is there now, and he has it. Two gone. The first baseman, number 10. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Champ Camp, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. First offering on its way. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Williams will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Sliding into the box, Billy Williams, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Pitch coming, here it is. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. Back up the middle. And that'll get through into center. So there's your possible go ahead run on base now to lead off the inning. There's a hard hit ground ball. The pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up there. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. Here's big Aaron Judd. Sibley off the slider too low, ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. The ball and two strikes.
Look him out. Let's take a look at the sequence here again. The first three pitches, all three down in the zone. So now you've got a guy that's thinking something down around the knees. He's conditioned to kind of look down there. That's when you mix it up and put it by him at the letters. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. And so let's take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. This is going to get down for extra bases. Williams rounds the corner and is headed home. And the runner will score from first. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And happy birthday as they allow him to cross with the inside the park home run as he catches his breath to reflect on his good fortune. Boy, the home fans are loving that inside the park. Looked like he was carrying a piano around his back when he rounded third, but he made it. Somebody get him an oxygen mask. the skipper out of the third base dugout and it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So he'll wind up going six and a third and he's kept his club in it to this point though he cannot win the ball game. Which kid the Pope takes the call from the pen as he'll try to get the final two outs of this seventh frame. So here is Abisayo Garcia. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Davis is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. The back. The money. Run ball. Now with the plate, Yosmani Grandal. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. And that misses one and one. Ball in two strikes now. Hey, if this guy's able to execute that two-seamer down and away consistently, he's going to get a lot of swing and misses. He's going to get a lot of weak contact. He might even get a few knots on some people's shins. Bases are empty here with two men out. Lays off the one-two changeup, and he's worked it back to two and two. And he fouls this one off. Here's another 2-2. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count. He just seems to keep hanging right in there. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Fastball too low, and that's ball four. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that'll bring up one of the better clutch hitters on the landscape, David Bodie. Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Uh, had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. Line to the right side. Lopez is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. 
eighth inning coming up. Phillies leading off the inning. Bubba can, and they'll need him to get something going here. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. The ball. The third base. Digging in the switch hitter, Pat Duncan. He'll swing it from the left side right here. First delivery to him on the way. The fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. And this is fouled at the plate. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hit in the air to left. Left fielder is on the move. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now that second baseman. JJ Fink. Settling in now. JJ Fink. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Here comes the first pitch. Hits this one hard the other way. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Phillies lead it three to one. Into the box, Jalen Miller, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Pitch on the way. And he lays off there, 1 0. Get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball, one and two now. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Well, you got to love a live young arm. He's got an electric fastball. And if he can learn to harness that and work in his solid secondary stuff, he's going to have a really nice career on the mound. Not everyone is gifted with a fastball like that. Into the box now, Ty Cobb. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. 2-0 to the Philly center fielder. Hits are now even at four apiece. Hard hit at third. Scooped up. And boy, just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over there, and that's out number two. The third baseman, Alex. Coming to the plate now, Alex Bregman. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here comes the first pitch. That tails back over, strike one. And he lays off for ball one. He obviously wanted that call on the corner, but if he continues to put the ball right there, he's going to get that call, and he's going to keep pitching as well as he is. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it, two and one. They're going to probably stay away from this guy. He's got so much power, you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate. But I think when pitchers try to be too cute on that outside corner, they might leak one a little bit inside, and this is where that guy would jump on. Here now the 2-2. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. 
And this is taken here for ball four. Just the second walk he's allowed into his eighth inning of work. Now back. Standing in, Billy Williams. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. He slaps that one away, and the count will be nothing and one. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. And it's one and one. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Fouled away. Lifted the other way out to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Philly strand one as the lead remains three to one. Bruce Suter comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Kicking off the top of the ninth, Bucky Tavares, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do, trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. So his day fully over now as you get a look at the pitching line for the Philly starter. Yeah, he really delivered a fantastic postseason performance. Yeah, he looked really dialed in from start to finish. This is the kind of outing you hope for every time you go out there. So I think he'll feel pretty good about the effort he put forth in this one. Into the box, lefty Lopez. This he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. One out, nobody on. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. At the plate now, Crash Davis. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Now a good pitch on the inside part of the plate ties him up, and it's one and one. And there's ball two now. You have to find a way in this situation to look in that on-deck circle and find a way to get your best hitter to the plate with a chance to tie. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. They're on their feet here in Philly. Some 43,000 in full roar. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, as a former pitcher, you know I love these low-scoring games as opposed to those slugfests. This was like a throwback game when home runs weren't so common and pitching was really dominant. No complaints here. This one, definitely a low scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. He was certainly a big factor here, and it was pretty cool to see.
our final line for this afternoon. First for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies. Three runs.